Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this attachment of the special weapon and the other weapons into the back of the character. So last time when we stopped, uh, these weapons were not properly attached to the back. They were all over the place. Uh, they were not uh, clean enough when we uh, attach them into the back. So what we are going to do is now when I equip one weapon it will be in the 111 scale and when I equip another weapon and when the original weapon go back to the uh, reattached to the back of the character it will be slightly scaled down so we have enough space in the back of the character to attach two weapons so that's what we are going to work on today and also we are going to have a different local rotation when for the mesh for the gun mesh the weapon mesh when it is in the back not equipped and when it is in the hand equipped so there will be two different local rotation local transforms for the mesh to properly attach it in the place so right let's see how to do those things today All right, so now let's look into this issue. So if I equip an RPG, it, it's like this, which is totally wrong and doesn't look cool. So, right, let's figure out what's the angle this should have when it is in the back of the character. So if I open the RPG blueprint here as you can see I have given some local uh, location and a rotation that's because uh, only if I do that in this certain way the hand wouldn't match exactly when when the character is shooting with this so that's why I have to give this low rotation and local rotation and local location so but uh, let me open the mannequin and let's attach here we have the special weapon socket let's attach uh, RPG here that's how it is right uh, so I don't think we can figure out what to do here okay so then let me open the character blueprint for the player and let's attach for testing let's attach uh, RPG blueprint here and a special weapon socket Right, should be under special weapons of it. So this is the way it looks. Right, now in the RPG, let me keep a backup of these values. And Temporarily, I'm gonna change this everything back to zero. Now, this is the way it looks. And if I add 180 degrees around pitch, now this part is facing up, but still not correct. Right now, when I give these values, 
it looks somewhat okay in the character spec but we also need to make sure it doesn't completely cover the buller cover the players view as well but i think this is fine ah no Right, so let's implement a mechanism. So this is the values we need in order to properly place this in the back of the character. Let me take a screenshot of that as well. Right, now let's go to the main BP gun and here let's add two variables transforms mm. one let's call it equip transform okay and another one uh, Unequipped transform. Right. So then, and uh, yeah. Now for each weapon, we have to give the transform when uh, it is equipped and when it is unequipped. So this is PP gun for the RPG. Mm. Uh, so this must be the unequipped transform so let me copy this oh sorry i can just type it minus eight four fifteen 180 0 others are 111 and equip transform should be minus 7.78 4.155 minus 5.1 5.07 5.1 5.2 5.3 I'm, I'm typing from the backup side took before just looking at them typing Five, nine. right now we do have to update this variable for all other guns as well so for the k actually we have already used this equip transform we have already given the local transform uh, which must be is the equip transform similar to the equipped transform unequipped transform i think zero 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 should be fine all right so i'll do the same for the other guns as well but i will not record that the same steps right so i uh, filled those variables values now let's go to equip right so when we equip the gun let's call uh, more component two. <laughs> using equipped transform location and rotation value should be like this and when we 
unequip. Uh, regardless of this part, let's change it to the unequipped transform in similar way. Well, let's um, shall we test? We need to remove the gun in the back because this should not be there by default. If we can have it, but if I do that, I have to initialize it as well. See, now it's properly in the back. If I press 3, still it's properly placed in the hand as well. But yeah. It's probably working now. And one more thing. Um, let me put this back. And let's attach. Yeah, uh, for all of these weapons, now I'm gonna clear this local offset and keep it like this. I'm gonna keep the same offset, uh, the unequipped of offset for this one because it's not zero. Right now, let's attach another right, Let me uh, reattach the rifle. Uh, at the moment it is an AK into the primary weapon socket oh we can't because this it is inherited so what can we do is we can attach a new one yes what is still let's attach one and see should come under primary weapon now Now as you can see here, there is no enough space. So what can we do? Uh, also let's change this gun to another primary weapon like M60. Yeah, that's also kind of is in the same way so shall we change the weapon socket primary weapon socket let me attach another AK-47 here but like this Good. Uh, well, I did modify, but it's still it's not clear enough. So I think we too would be better if we make the guns a little smaller. But then again, I have to check when I toggle a certain gun, do I change the scale? 
Yeah, here we are uh, when we switch guns we keep a uh, scale we keep for what if I make it keep relative right nothing changes three scales keep relative okay then if I make the scale of this special weapon socket and primary weapon socket let's say 0.8 gun should be a little smaller and yeah here you can see they are small as well let me change it to 0.7 Now let's see. when it is in the hand, it's see too small. Right. Now let me remove this additional stuff I just had attached for testing. Right now when it is in the back, the gun is a little smaller. When it is in the hand, it's, it becomes the real size. And the RPG also say when it is in the back, it's small. When I whip it, it is the scale, real scale. Oh wait, what happened to that? Oh, it is working. Okay. right also one more thing here you might have noticed um, let me show this and when i reload uh, the gun uh, reload animation montage sometimes overrides that's because uh, you can clearly see it here see the rpg grenade is not in the hand of the character so that happens because in the fire when I release stop firing this animation montage is playing um, with the when it is false uh, display this is played with release so if I release left mouse button while the character is reloading that reload animation will be overridden by this so we need to prevent that so what we can do is uh, when we reload that means here we play this animation and one more thing before 
we trying to reload we have to check if we if we still have ammo that can be reloaded so to do that what i have to do is we can check the total ammo count if it is larger than zero we can play the reload animation otherwise we can just skip it we can skip the delay as well right and here what's the duration of reload animation let's add another boolean variable reloading and I'll make it set reload then draw here and after this duration I'll make it false false right now in the fire If we are reloading, we shouldn't do anything here. So we can just have a branch. Check if it is reloading. If we are not reloading, we can continue as usual. is not interrupted let's check here again okay also one more thing uh, when we shoot we need to hide the RPG bullet so to do that We have actually two materials here. So I'll convert this to a masked material. And let's promote this to a variable. So if mask is zero, this will be invisible. By default, I'll make it one, so it will be completely visible. And when the bullet is emitting in the RPG, yeah. Right before we spawn the RPG grenade, we can set material set the parameter value. The name is mask to zero. So this will be hidden when we shoot oh, let me roll. fix the rotations oh wait
See, now the bullet is not there. But when we reload, it should reappear. So, how to do that? Okay, let's take a look at the reload part. Which is here. Reload gone. Let me open. Where is that event? Okay, here. Oh. No, we can't use this part because the reload animation is played before we actually call this reload gun event. So, all right. Actually, here we can call set scalar parameter value on the gun mesh, and this will not affect anything for other guns because we haven't uh, defined any of the parameters with the name mask there. So this will be only applicable for the RPG. Here now we don't have ammo anymore, but it's still uh, the animation is playing. Why? I think I fixed it before. Total ammo count. All right. The reason is um I call uh, reload on character here so actually I should do this test before this part so let me move this part out Now it should be all fine. Now it doesn't do the reloading animation anymore, even if I try it. Also, I almost forgot to assign this RPG icon. For the heart. Now that also should be rectified now. See, icon is also changing. Alright, so I think now we are in a quite good position to stop this episode. And the only problem I see here now is at the moment we don't see uh, the, uh, the place bullet going and the aiming direction. There is a kind of a mismatch here. So I will fix that later on but for now I'm gonna stop right here right so thanks for watching 
and as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye